Unions in Barbados stand by the decision to take industrial action and in sport, the Reggae Boys book a spot in the CONCACAF Gold Cup semi-finals. I'm Nicole Best and this is the Caribbean in 10 for Friday, July 21. I'll be back with the details after the break. Regional and international partners at the CBU Annual General Assembly, August 21st through 24th at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel in Nassau, the Bahamas, under the theme, Digital Developments in Caribbean Media. Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Dr. the Honorable Hubert Alexander Minnis, will welcome delegates during the opening ceremony. Guyana's Minister of Public Telecommunications, the Honorable Kathy Hughes, will offer a keynote address on digital developments in the region. See the launch of the UNESCO-sponsored Manual of Social Media Guidelines for Caribbean Journalists with guest speaker, Jamaica's Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn. And hear from international media players about the new developments in digital television standards in Europe, the US, and Japan and this year's Caribbean Broadcasting Awards Gala at the Atlantis Resort Paradise Island is not to be missed. Call 246-430-1007 to book your space in the three-day conference and exhibition. Don't miss the CBU 48th Assembly at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel in Nassau from August 21st through 24th. Discounts on flights to the Assembly on the official airline, Caribbean Airlines. in Barbados where the president of the National Union of Public Workers, Akani McDowell, says he is not about to apologize for the stance trade unions have taken in their current impasse with government. The unions have called out their members to take industrial action in protest of government's refusal to grant their demands for a reduction in the recently increased national social responsibility levy or provide a coping subsidy for public sector workers. So far, a sick out has affected operations at both major ports of entry, as well as the state-run transport board and the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation. McDowell accused Prime Minister Frendel Stewart of forcing the trade union's hand in the matter, and he says the unions should not be criticized for their actions. The responsibility cannot at this time be on us. It cannot be on the unions. The unions would have done everything that is possible to make sure that we had an amicable solution to this problem. The problem has to be, the problem now rests with the government. The responsibility now rests with the government. The government has to show that they are willing to lead this process and they have to come out. We have made our demands. They have to come out and tell us whether or not they are, well, they have to come out and make sure that they resolve this situation. Meanwhile, the private sector is calling on the trade unions to end the industrial action. The appeal came just one week after the business community hinted that they could join the unions in their bid to force government to go back to the negotiating table. They say they are not in support of either the recent budgetary proposals or the trade union-led industrial action taking place. The position was made clear by the association's chairman, Charles Herbert, following a two-hour meeting with its members. Herbert says while he understands the union's position, their protest action is beginning to affect businesses. One of our main interests is to minimize the impact on business by the industrial action. And we certainly will be using whatever communication we have with labor to try and get them to reduce the impact or to cease industrial action. We understand their frustrations and um, 
therefore we would would like to perhaps you know if they if we have dialogue their concerns may be part of that dialogue but we certainly would like to see the industrial action come to an end as quickly as possible and over in venezuela a nationwide strike against plans to rewrite the constitution shut down much of the capital yesterday millions joined the 24-hour shutdown staying at home closing businesses or manning roadblocks in a civil disobedience campaign the opposition hopes will end nearly two decades of socialist rule at least three people were killed in clashes between the police and protesters and more than 200 others were reportedly arrested President Nicolas Maduro said the strike was minimal and that its leaders would be arrested. Many private transportation groups heeded the strike call, while students, neighbors and activists hauled rubbish and furniture into the streets to erect makeshift barriers. But in pro-government areas of the capital, life went on as usual with shops open and streets busy. Public employees also appeared to have worked normally. Since April, when opposition protests intensified, almost 11, that's 100 people have died across the country. Police in St. Vincent and the Grenadines have launched an internal investigation into voice notes in which men said to be members of the Police Welfare Association proposed that they storm the office of the Prime Minister. Commissioner of Police Renard Hadaway tells CMC News lawmen have not ruled out the possibility of criminal charges against the officers allegedly involved. The recordings are said to have been circulated within a WhatsApp group composed of members of the executive of the PWA and are believed to have been leaked by a member of the group. In the three voice notes, the speakers discussed issues affecting police officers, including the implementation of a leave committee, refrigerators and stoves for police stations and whether police officers are insured when riding in police vehicles. However, lawyer for the PWA, Israel Bruce, says the officer's comments were taken out of context. Stay with us. Your midday sport is next. So I'm kind of reading that message into your book, but I got it very strongly. This isn't a book necessarily for indigenous people. They may know this history. It's for the rest of us. Why is it needed? Yes, it's for... It's for everyone to understand, for the settlers, uh, immigrants, to understand indigenous people's experience of the United States and point of view. And as a historian, I, I wanted to really just call it the true history of the United States. This is Jolly Phonics. It's a fun new program used to help infants develop a love for reading. Teachers and principals from selected primary schools are learning about this program to help improve literacy in their schools. Jolly Phonics is based on synthetic phonics, a method that focuses on how sounds are represented by letters, as well as how we blend or synthesize these sounds when reading. Well, Jamaica's Reggae Boys booked a spot in the semi-finals of the CONCACAF Gold Cup after a 2-1 victory over Canada at the University of Phoenix Stadium in Arizona yesterday evening. Sean Francis and Romario Williams scored in each half before David Jr. Hollett pulled one back to the exciting contest. Francis set the Jamaicans ahead in the sixth minute launch that's latching on to Darren Maddox's pullback to finish powerfully in the back of the net. The Jamaicans had a few opportunities to double their advantage. They led their lead was doubled when Williams curled a shot from the top of the box beyond the palms of Canadian goalkeeper Milan Borjan in the 50th minute. Jamaican captain and goalkeeper Andre Blake was forced into a number of tough saves, but Jamaicans saw out the win. And Jamaica's under-20 reggae girls get their CONCACAF Women's Championship quest on the way tonight when they tackle Curacao in a Caribbean Football Union Group B qualifying game at the National Sports Center in Bermuda. Interim head coach Xavier Gilbert has expressed confidence of victory, but he will not be leaving anything to chance against a team now battling for survival following Wednesday's loss. He believes the momentum and rhythm from his team's preparation phase since arriving here is a good indication that a positive result should be on the cards and that's caribbean in 10 join us at 6 30 for caribbean newsline have yourselves a good afternoon <laughs>